Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a 54-year-old male with complaints of back pain, more of a mid-back, lower thoracic region pain. Also, he's got pain in the left flank area. He says it's around where he thinks his kidney is, and maybe off uh, peripheral pain even going into the skin. And so his doctor thought maybe it could be a thoracic problem. And so we have a MRI here, and he shows a, a couple interesting things, kind of minor bread and butter findings, but this is one called epidural lipomatosis. And so on this view, this is a sagittal view. We see the sternum on the front. Here's the high area, the neck is here. This is the thoracic spine. You see the vertebral bodies are the squares. These dark bands are the discs, shock absorbers. You see a dark band here. This is the spinal cord. And the spinal cord is surrounded by white. And this white is fluid but there's also fat in here. You can see that subcutaneous fat in front of the sternum is bright, and you see fluid around the cord is also white. So in this view, called a T2 view, fat is fairly bright, and fluid is really, really bright. And in this view, the spinal cord looks like it's surrounded by fluid, which is white. But if we put up another view where fluid is black, we'll see, this is called a T1 weighted image, you see that there's a problem here. Now you see that the band of brightness here, this is fat. The fluid has turned dark, so the dark fluid here is in front of the spinal cord, and behind the uh, spinal cord we see this band. So this is fat in the epidural space. We call this epidural lipomatosis. I have other, other videos I talked about this. It can cause narrowing of the spinal canal. It can be associated with um, steroid therapies, or sometimes you can have uh, abnormalities that are metabolic um, that can cause this. Uh, but this is one finding that can narrow the canal and if people have disc herniations, it'll make the disc herniations affect the spinal cord more because the spinal canal is narrowed because of this epidural lipomatosis. And the patient does have a couple of small disc herniations. This is a special really thin one where we have cuts are about a millimeter, and you can see that there's a little disc herniation here pushing on the spinal cord. The other one here, another small one over here. These little disc herniations do cause narrowing of the canal because the fat back here, if there were no fat, then the spinal canal wouldn't be significantly narrowed. Um, so these are some findings, but there's one other finding that explains the problems, and it is related to a foraminal stenosis. So the foramen is off to the side. A foramen is a hole where the nerve goes through. So for example, up here, we have a dot that's a nerve going through a hole, which is the foramen. So at each disc level, there's a foramen on the left and a foramen. If we swing way over here to the right side, a foramen on the right. And through the foramina, we have the nerve surrounded by fat. And so we look, all the foramen are open. They all look pretty open over here. If we look on the left-hand side, we're going to see nice foramen all up through here. Great, great, great. When we get down to here, you see that the foramen is dark. This is a big, wide-open foramen filled with fat that's bright. And this one is completely narrow. So a severe left foramen stenosis. This patient had a disc herniation here that's filling the foramen, pinching a nerve, and that's what was causing his symptoms here. So kind of a... Rare finding of a lower thoracic disc herniation, pinching the nerve. We should be able to see this on this view. This is called the T1 view where we see the fat bright, fluid dark. If we go into those foramina, remember they're filled with fat, so they're still bright on this. And we see these nice nerves surrounded by fat. And let's try to find that one down here. I think I went the wrong direction. Let me try the other direction. There it is. So here is the disc the disc material squirts out into that foramen, pinching the nerve. Here you can see a nerve. Here's a nerve, and this nerve you can't see because it's compressed and displaced out of the way. So a left thoracic, thoracic disc herniation causing their left-sided flank pain and symptoms and epidural lipomatosis. Thank you very much.